Hello! Hi there, people of Twitch, and welcome to Roll for Crit. My name is Jonathan, and I am here tonight live to stream for you a playthrough of Final Girl from Van Ryder Games. You can see me in the corner over here, and you can see the game where the rest of the stuff is. That's the game. Final Girl is this box, which uh, doesn't look very impressive on its own. That is because there are multiple sets that you combine, and you can mix and match or play as standalones that work with this core box. And I can't show you those because I currently have them here on the table. These double as box lids, they're magnetic. It's a whole thing. Maybe I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, regardless, I'm here to play the game, so anybody who's watching, thank you, and feel free to leave a comment in the chat, spend your crit points or whatever it is you can do, ask me questions about the game, or just help me out with it. I will briefly kind of tell you what the game is, and then uh, we'll just get into playing it and learn by doing. Actually, I've played it before, so maybe you will learn, but I will just do it. Uh, this currently has a Series 2, by the way, on Kickstarter right now. It's got a couple of weeks left on there, so if you're intrigued at all by this that's a great way to get started on uh what i'm gonna play or a bunch of other new content that they have up there but you can check that out for yourself so if you're familiar with our streams you've seen me play hostage negotiator before which is a, another solo board game that uses the same framework this is pretty similar to that but with some big differences and uh you'll also know that my luck in hostage negotiator is pretty bad so that's probably going to carry over into this game tonight. This is a game that has a lot of dice rolling in it, so expect to see me roll poorly over and over and over again. That's just how it goes sometimes uh, with these games. This is a horror-themed game, and Final Girl, if you don't know, is a reference to the, uh, I guess it's become a trope of the last girl who survives in a horror movie kind of turning on the bad guys and saving the day. And there's all kinds of different combos you can mix and match. I'm hoping to do two games tonight, but we're going to start simple with the most basic set that has no special rules, uh, that really is, it's not in the core box, uh, but in my opinion, it maybe should have been. It makes sense to have this as your first playthrough, so it'll be easy for everyone to understand. Uh, but just essentially the idea of it is, I am this girl over here. Her name is Reiko. There's different girls you can choose from with different uh, abilities if we unlock them. I'll show you that later, hopefully. Uh, normally, this would go over here. Everything has a little spot set up for it with the different boards, but space and glare and all that stuff, I'm, I'm putting it there. Uh, I am trying to take down Hans the Butcher. That's our big bad guy for this evening, at least to start off with. And he's just a scary guy with a pig mask. Nobody wants that. Nobody's interested in that. He's kind of like uh, your Freddy... Um, Freddy, not Freddy, Jason, sorry, Jason. <laughs> oh boy, uh, we're, we're just getting started and I'm already mixing things up. He's kind of like that fella Jason, if you know him. Uh, he's going to be stalking around Camp Happy Trails, and there are, this is me, I'm this little meeple over here. This represents the killer, in this case Hans, and all these yellow meeples are victims. And I will be rewarded if I save those victims. I'll be punished if the killer gets to them first. The way the game works is I'm going to have a hand of cards. Now, one thing you can't see on camera right now is there are a bunch more cards like this down here that I'll be able to purchase later, but I just couldn't fit those, and I'm going to use this area to roll my dice. But don't worry, I'll show them to you once I have them. But I'll be using those cards to take out certain actions, moving around the board, uh, trying to save these victims and ultimately be strong enough to kill Hans. And you'll also see there are some piles of items up here. If I go to certain spots on the board, these orange locations, hopefully you can kind of make that out. Uh, I can use a search action there, which is one of my cards. I actually don't have it. I have to um, purchase that. Uh, I can take one of those items or try to look for a better item depending on what happens. And those can be very helpful as well. Now, you, this guy also has... Um, I believe it is called the Bloodlust Tracker. And as the game goes on, that's going to get progressively scarier, and he's going to get stronger and get more powerful, so I've got to worry about that. And this track tells me um, how, how much horror is currently occurring. Basically, it means how many dice I get to roll. Right now, it's two. Hopefully, if we're lucky, I'll be able to raise it up to three. And if we're not, it'll be down to one. This is my time tracker. It starts out at six each round. That determines how many actions I can actually take. Um, and also, 
Well, not, not necessarily. It depends on the action. Some actions cost time, some don't. Most of them do in, in some way or another. Uh, but if I save that up, I'll be also using that to buy new cards at the end of each round. This is our health. You can see Hans has a lot more health than I do, which is scary. And let's see, anything else? Um, oh, yes. There is, of course, this is the setup. This tells you how the map is going to be laid out with the different little uh, victims as well as the killer and me. So that can change every time. Right now it's on treasure hunt. So apparently the camp was having some kind of a treasure hunt when Hans decided to, to have a regular hunt of humans. Uh, we also start off with an event. There's a whole event deck over here. More of those might come out. It's not guaranteed. But we uh, I drew one of these randomly, and this is what's going to take effect for this game. It's called Star-Crossed Lovers. And it says, when exactly two victims are in a space and one of them is killed... The other immediately dies as well. So we have uh, suicidally romantic people at this camp. Uh, so that's just a, a different rule that we're going to have to worry about now for the rest of this game. That if, for instance, he were to make it over here and kill, normally he would just kill one of them. The other one's going to die too. So I guess I want to try to separate them and keep them not in pairs so much. You'll see how the saving process works when we, when we get started, which is going to be right now, I think. All right, let me just make sure I have the back of the rule book with the reference, just in case I forget anything, because it's possible that I will. Uh, and by the way, Final Girl is really fun. You'll see how it plays for yourself, but I really, really like this game. And uh, in fact, it made my top 10 list last year uh, of my overall favorite games of 2021. So something that you probably want to check out, I recommend it if you haven't played this before. But you'll get to see it in action right now. All right, so... We begin with the action phase. I get to start playing some cards to see what I can do to stop Hans the Butcher. Now, I really... Um, so right now he's pretty slow. He's only going to be moving one space at a time. On his turn, he will move towards either me or a victim, whoever's closest, and attack if possible. And it's usually... Well, right now he's separated from people, which is nice. So an er a good early goal for me will be to either save victims or uh, try, to, try to get some items to power up. And um, the way saving victims works, you'll see there are two spaces, actually there's three of them on this map, that are labeled as exits, two there and one at the top. And anytime I move into a space with a victim, I can automatically carry up to two of them with me. And if I bring them to an exit, they get to leave the map, and I will get rewarded for that. So that's pretty nice to do. Mm, but there are some things in my way here. I guess I will make my way over, maybe over to this area, even though he's probably going to be moving that way. Oh, no, actually, no, this is closer. Ooh, but that's also bad for me. I don't know. There's not really a good choice. You know, it's one of those games. I'm just going to... Well, at least that's what I say, because I'm bad at it. It makes me feel better <laughs> when I say things like that. Let's start with a basic one that is pretty much always going to be universally helpful, regardless of what uh, we decide to do on our turn. And that's the focus card right here. Uh, I'm going to roll two dice, and two of these sides have a success symbol. The rest are blank, uh, except for uh, there's one side, which means if I trade two cards in, then I can turn that into a success. So it's a 50-50 shot if I want to spend the cards of getting a success on one of these dice. Oops, that just that went w way far away, so I'm just going to get another one. <laughs> that's, how it, that's how it works here. I'm not going to pick that up. I'll find that in about a month. Um, so, you know, the odds aren't always great. I only need one success, but if my success, if I, get, if I do get two, then I will have... Uh, a better result thanks to that i see we have a horse who can drive in the chat and says whoa listen i'd be saying whoa too if i saw it. was that a, is that a horse joke because you say whoa it's probably not hey how you doing tonight my friend all right let's do it let's roll these dice let's roll these bones yeah i drop dice a horse who can drive i play it fast and loose baby <laughs> well okay first of all i'm gonna try not to roll onto the board because now I need to <laughs> rearrange these victims. All right, these two people were hanging out of the dock. Yeah, okay, that's that's correct. 
You'll see, by the way, all of these have, well, not all of them, but a lot of them have names on them. The dock, the lake, there's makeout point. <laughs> Uh, none of that matters unless a card says so or something like that. Right now, they're just flavor. All right. So I did indeed get one success, which means what Focus does is I get to lower the horror by one. And that's one way for me to try to get that into the green so I can roll more dice and have a better chance of getting successes on these uh, card rolls. Um, but... You can also see that means I lose one unit of time. So this goes down to five. Okay, that's fine. You know, a any success for me is a success. I'm very happy with that. Now, oh yeah, the rest of my cards. Here are all my options. So this card is for attacking him. I'm nowhere near him. I have to be in the same spot. That's probably not going to happen for a little while. Uh, short rest is to recover health. My health is full, so I don't plan on using that. Instead, what I have left is another focus, and I have two walk cards which is, you know, how I move. Um, I don't see much reason. Well, there is some reason. Let's let's try to walk. Let's try to walk. Let's see how far we can get. <laughs> um, sometimes it's a challenge, and if you don't have a walk card, then you can't move. So that's kind of a, an issue. There, I mean, there are other cards that let you move besides walk, but you know what I mean. Or you don't. All right, so here's one of those circumstances. I can trade in two face-down cards for this to make that a success. Um, you know, I mean, I just said it, right? I just said I don't need either of these two cards. Maybe I will trade them in face-down to make that a success. If I don't do that, I'll still get to move, but I lose a health and two units of time. Which is not very good. So sure, let's let's just do it. I'm trading these two cards in. Make this a success. I'm gonna move. I'd like. I wish I could move more than one space. I was planning on going this way. I was hoping to make it to the fire pit. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm still gonna. I'm gonna go here. So this little victim right here is now my friend. All right. So there's that. Now the question is, do I try to walk again, or do I, oh, did I lower my time? I didn't. I should be down to four. Um, so you, again, you guys cannot see the options that I have down here. Mm, I'm probably going to want to take maybe a sprint and probably a close call. What am I going to be doing next turn? I think I'm going to go ahead and try to... I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Let's just stop there for the for the round. I know I haven't accomplished very much, but I want to save my points so I can buy stuff. Uh. Now, nah, you know what? Let's try to focus one more time, at the very least. Also, this is just... A, just for anyone who doesn't know, I'm bad at this game. So uh, if, you're, if you're watching this for any kind of strategy <laughs> or hoping to learn how to play better, this is not the, the stream to watch. But if you just want to see how the game works, you're in the right place. All right. Okay, another success. I would have loved two, but again, I can't complain. So we're getting closer to the three dice segment. Of course, he has lots of ways to raise the horror, so I bet that's not going to stay there for that long. But now that's where I'm going to call this turn. And so what happens once I have decided to stop taking actions is now I get to purchase new cards. So I've got three time units to spend. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and buy one sprint card, which allows me to move more spaces. And I will get a close call, which only costs one, which is a reroll, basically. So that's cool, and then I still have my walk that I didn't spend from earlier. These cards that I started with all cost zero, so I will get to take them back into my hand for free, but not the same round that I played them in. I gotta wait around to get them back. All right, again, if you've ever played Hostage Negotiator, a lot of this will be familiar to you. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, that's the end of the planning phase. Uh, my time goes back up to six, so that always will reset. Even I can't bank those points either. I got to spend them or lose them. And now we have the killer phase. So get ready for this. The killer phase is very exciting. 
first the killer is going to do an action. So right now his speed is one. He's going to move towards uh, one of us, whoever is closest, and try to attack. Um, now, right now, yes, this is the closest position because this is one, two, three, or three, and that's only two spaces away. So he's moving up towards those people. Nothing I can do about that uh, at the moment, unfortunately, but he doesn't get it up there just yet, so he can't attack anybody, so he just stays where he is. So at least there's that. He kind of is doing what I'm doing, which is moving and then stagnating. Uh, and then we get to draw one of these terror cards. There are ten of these. When we run out of them, more bad stuff will happen. But for now, we always draw a terror card at the end of this phase. What did I tell you? We got a dark feast card. This symbol right here means that horror moves back up. So once again, I got to deal with that. And we also, this says for every victim that is dead, Hans recovers a health. Hans does have, so these cards, by the way, come from both Hans and Camp Happy Trails. Um, they each have their own tarot cards that are specific to these sets. So if you're playing with different things, you wouldn't use them necessarily. Uh, so he doesn't have his own rules, but he does have some unique abilities in that sense. And he is pretty good at healing. That's kind of his thing is he's just like a tank. He's got a lot of health and he can stay alive for a long time. Fortunately, no victims have died yet. So nothing has happened from that. So great minorly annoying but not not the worst thing in the world uh next is something called a panic phase that will take place if any victims died none of them did so we won't need don't need to get into it all right and then we're back for another round just like before uh, i'm already feeling like i'm doing poorly because that's I, I have very low self-esteem so give me your give me your support in the chat please feel free um, and remember you can spend crit points to make me drink water or something which i'm doing right now anyway but imagine if you made me do it. How good that would feel. Thank you, horse who can drive. Thank you for giving me the support that I asked for. <laughs> that I begged for. Because I'm very sad. Okay. Uh, let's go. I think I should try to sprint. And I'm hoping I can... I guess my plan is to... What is my plan? To, to head to the fire pit and and then over here to try to get, if I then get to the exit to save some, some of these victims? I don't know. All right, sure, let's try it. Two dice at the ready. Oh, one success. Once again, so, so far, hey, I haven't failed anything yet until I've said that. That cost me one time unit. So I will, yeah, I'll stick to my plan. Uh, these these guys are going to die. I'm just going to say that right now. They're going to die. I, I don't I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. Um, but first, I'm going to move down here. So now I have two little victims in tow. I can't carry more than two, unfortunately. And then I'm going to move forward again this way. All right. Now, I do have a walk. So you know what? I think I should try to walk and make it to this exit and set these victims free. Victims will not go to the exit by themselves. They are stupid. They need my help. Okay, so I didn't get a success, and I only have one card left in hand. However, it's a close call. I can reroll any one die, or I can reroll both of them if I'm willing to spend two time units. I'm not willing to spend two time units. I'm just going to spend this to re-roll one of these dice. I'll re-roll the, the one or the four. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no superstition here. This is, this is just a horror game. So let's hope for a five or a six. Nope, it's a four. So unfortunately, I was unable to walk, and as a penalty... Oh, actually, that's not true. So, all right, this is frustrating, but there's a bit of an upside to it. I, there is a fail result here. I still get to move up to one space. And then I will lose a health and have to lose some time units. I could opt to just lose the time units and not get the health, but then I can't move. And I would really like to move because I get to go to an exit. And as soon as I'm in an exit with these victims, they're saved. Hooray, I'm a good person, I did it. And you'll notice over here on my card, there are five spaces for these victims. And when I place a victim on the card, I get a reward depending on which space I chose. 
And I get to place two of these in a row, and I'm pretty sure that happens before this triggers, although I don't think in this instance it makes much of a difference. So, this is pretty good. Um, uh, here, here, I'll tell you, here, I'll hold it up for people who can't see it, because it's probably all of you. I could put two right here, and that just lets me move... Oh, wow, that would be a really good... Uh, oh yeah, that's a path right there. Okay, I know my I know my choice. Get ready for some comboing, everybody. Let, I'll show you how this works. So, I'm going to place one here. That lets me move one space immediately. I'm going to move across this path to the dock. Then, I'm going to put it on this here to move another space. I'm going to take them right back down to the same exit. And now I get to get two more rewards. And I saved four victims. And that's really good. If I manage to fill all five of these spots, this card flips over and I get a special power. So this is making me feel real good right now. Here's what I have left. I can gain a health, which I haven't lost any yet, although I'm going to. So I guess I'm taking the other two, aren't I? First, I will gain two time units, moving me up to seven. And then I will go here, which says take the planning action card. You guys can't see this, but I'll show it to you here. Normally, this would cost four. It's free for me. Um, this one makes it so that for my next horror roll, I can get extra dice, which means potentially I might need to go digging around on the floor to find that one that I dropped. Uh, but hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully I'll, I won't succeed. Uh, so this is a really good card. It, it, it powers up the roll that I'm going to make next. It's planning. I'm not going to use it right now because it makes absolutely no sense to use currently, but it's very nice to have that for free, essentially. So uh, I'm feeling really good about that. My first turn was kind of boring, but that was kind of awesome. This is one of those games where things can get swingy, and sometimes it, it's easy, sometimes it's very, very hard. <laughs> so I'm finished with that. These are going to be discarded. Now it's time for the planning phase. Yes, this card is called planning, and there's also a planning phase. Maybe they could have cleaned that up, but it's fine. I have, oh, right, but first I do have to lose a health, so one heart gone, and I do have to uh, lose two of these time units, So, but I gained two, so it evens out. Now I have five units to spend, plus I do get my freebies that I spent the first round back. Five is pretty good. Five is pretty good. Um... Hmm. I could try to start attacking him. I could take this Furious Strike card and try to go up there and hit him real good. Because I'm pretty... I am kind of close to him. Even though my instinct is usually I, I should dig for items first. So I, I don't really... Ooh. Well, he's going to be moving away from me anyway and killing people. So I'm not going to do that just yet. There's also these distraction cards. That's pretty good to lower horror again. Yeah, you know what? I am going to do this. I'm going to get... Um, with my five, I'm going to get one distraction card to try to lower the horror some more. And one search card, which is going to allow me to hopefully pick up an item from one of these piles, depending on where I go. So, and we'll talk about what the items do later. So I have a really nice hand right now. I'm in a good mood after succeeding there, but uh, we'll see. Because he's going to do something that's going to make me sad right now. Um... I want to make sure... Oh, yeah. Anytime one of them dies, that goes up also. So I want to make sure I don't forget that. But he hasn't killed anybody yet, so we're safe. Uh, but let's find out if he does right now. So first, he is going to... Yeah, he's going to kill... Oh, so here's one of those instances where I, I can kind of decide if I want to be... You know, if I want to cheat or not. <laughs> so he is one space away from both of these locations. So technically, there's a, it's kind of my choice. Now, they have a recommendation for this in the rule book. They have three, po three choices that they say. Number one, the rule of infinite evil. Uh, if there's a tie in some way, resolve it so that you get the worst outcome. Number two, abject realism. Resolve it so that it's the most realistic or thematic outcome. Uh, number three, the rule of hilarity. <laughs> the funniest outcome. <laughs> I, I like the rule of realism, which in this case, unfortunately, I think is going to be the worst case scenario. If you're an evil butcher in a campground in a slasher movie, 
you're obviously going after the couple in the utility shed. That's who you want to kill. So he's going to move in there, and he's going to kill one of them. And because of our star-crossed lover's card, both of them die. And every time a victim dies, the bloodlust track moves up. So one, two... He now, uh, his stats haven't changed yet. He still moves and attacks with the same ferocity. Yeah, that's a word. Uh, but this symbol does mean that uh, the horror track is going to move up one, which is a little bit annoying. And, uh, yeah. What is, the, Hans recovers health, discard the next terror card. I don't think we need to worry about that. That's for if this reaches the top, I think. Yeah. So, um... Once he gets here, he's going to get an evil dark power. We'll worry about that later. Uh, I see our friend A87 Kamui in the chat. Hello! Welcome to Final Girl. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments about this game. Or if you just want to, I don't know, talk about anything. Favorite horror movies? Favorite Friday the 13th movie? Favorite pig mask movie? There's some good pig mask movies. Let me know what your pick is. There's, of course, the Saw franchise. Um, your Next is a personal favorite of mine. Um, what other pig mask movies are there? <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Hoser's in the chat as well. Asks if I am winning. You know what, Hoser? I'm going to say optimistically yes, but thank you for joining and thank you for, uh, testifying to the fact that our AV is spot on tonight. Good. Always good to hear. <laughs> Cause I didn't know I've been flailing around in the, in the dark theor metaphorically for the last half an hour. All right. So let's keep going. What stage were we at? Oh, yeah. He just killed two people, which was bad. Uh, now, as I mentioned, there was a panic phase that occurs. If any victims die and there's a victim in a space still with him, they run around a little bit. But he killed both of them, so there's nobody left to panic. If, if, if everyone's dead, they can't panic. That's just facts. Terror card is next. Let's see what happens. He just keeps coming! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Horror goes up again. I'm really glad that I bought the distraction card because I'm going to need it because this is bad. And uh, you're going to notice these little symbols down here that also are about to activate. Those do activate, right? Let me make sure I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, and that's not like a later in the game or something. It's been a while since I've played this. That's always the case, isn't it? When uh, when When I do a stream... I never play something that I've played the night before. It's always something that I have a chance of forgetting rules for. But I just want to make sure I don't uh, mess anything up and make this too hard for me. No, I don't think so. We're doing this correctly. Yeah, it's all, it's all encompassing. All right, so indeed, this tells us that he's going to move towards the closest figure on the map. In this instance, he actually only has one exit, so it doesn't matter. He's going here. Um, oh, what does the shoe mean? Does that mean... Oh, no, I think that just means he moves one space. They're just saying, pick the target, moves one space, attacks. There's nobody in that spot, so he's not attacking anybody. So I'm still upset about the horror, but once again, not the worst card that we could have gotten. Now, uh, we're good. Oh, panic phase actually happens after he does that. Excuse me. So it wouldn't have happened regardless. All right, back to my turn. I do have a bunch of juicy cards in hand. Uh, for anyone who did not see catch the beginning of the stream, it's only a couple of turns in, but I've saved a bunch of victims. Things are looking up for me. I really want to save one more to get my special power. Unfortunately, they're all on this side of the board. <laughs> so I got to figure out a way to get up there. Mm. Do I want to try to go after him? I think I, let's just start by distracting him. Distraction is a pretty good card. There's not really much downside, assuming I get one. Right? Let me see what else I have in my hand. Oh, I could take a short rest also because I have been damaged a little bit. I really don't want to attack him until I at least get one weapon of some kind. There is an aluminum bat. I know you guys can't read this, but there's a bat in the utility shed. So, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Let's create a distraction. Ah, boy. All right. We got... I, I got to do it. I got to convert that to a success. I'm going to. 
I'm going to spend the same two cards I spent to do this last time. Um, to make that a success, so horror goes down only by one, not as much as I had hoped, and I gain a time unit. Oh, that should have started at six, so I now have seven. Still a good card, but I really want that to be lower, obviously. Um, I got to do at least one more focus card to try to lower that again. Well, now why couldn't I have had that on the last one? That's okay. That's still good. So this goes down to three, and now I get two more time units. Wow, that's a lot. I, I, nine time units feels good. I'm going to be able to buy some stuff, assuming I don't waste it all now. Of course, I forgot I had this planning card that I could have used to make that distraction a little juicier. Um, I could have possibly added f two more dice to my roll, but I didn't do that, guys. I, f I forgot. I forgot that I had this card. <laughs> And that's fine. We'll save it. We'll save it for another day. Um, I think now I should try to walk. What is at the dock? There's a lucky rabbit's foot. So the way this works, I'll kind of briefly explain right now. Uh, you can see the top card of each item pile. There are a few items in each pile, however. Once I take one, I won't know what's coming up. But right now I know that there's a lucky rabbit's foot which I can discard to make a horror roll, and for each success I get, I get some kind of a special reward. So that's that's fine. It's not a weapon. What I, I really want a bat to hit him with. That's that's what I want. Um, hmm. I, I, I don't have that. I feel like he's going to start killing all these people is the problem. And I'm going to be making my way over this side of the board like a doofus. <laughs> While he is just slowly just ignoring me and killing everybody. I uh, I sort of want to go here, even though he's going to attack me, just to like draw him away from them. I wish I could move this person. Uh, let's figure this out. Mm hmm. I really don't want to get attacked by him, though. Especially not if I... There are some cards that I can buy, which um, I'll be able to defend with, but I don't have any of them. <sighs> oh, the dock is... Oh, no, it's connected. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's just do it. I'll go ahead and try to walk. <laughs> it's always good to try to walk, right? Oh, that's a good point, um, uh, Kamui says, are you able to go through the lake? Yes. Good catch. I missed that as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. There is a boat item that may show up, but I don't think it, you can't, if there's a space, you can go through it. So yeah, that is legal. So I can cut and swim across the lake. That's going to make this a lot better. So anyway, oh, although I'm going to be kind of annoyed if I get two successes on this, to be honest with you. All right, one success. That's fine. Because uh, I'm just going to move one space into the dock. And now I'm going to try searching. So, you know what? Let's get that lucky rabbit's foot. Let's let's attempt to. And maybe something else. I might get two successes on this one, and I'll show you how, what that means. Sorry about the glare. Okay, we got two of these. <laughs> Oh, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I have two cards left in hand, and uh, one of them is the planning card. Granted, I got it for free, so, tech, you know, easy come, easy go, I guess, but it's a four-cost card. Like, that's so good. Uh, I'm going to have to really think about if I want to spend that or not. Hoser has redeemed a hydrate. Hey, just like going through the lake, I'm going to drink some water. Thanks, Hoser. Mmm. 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 Now I'm ready to take on the world. I need more of that. <laughs> All right. Sorry for my drinking sounds. So, if I don't trade these in, I get to still take the rabbit's foot. Uh, but horror is going to go up twice, and I'm going to lose two time units. Or I could just make horror go up once. Man, I gotta tell you, this doesn't feel good, but I think I gotta trade these in. I think I have to... 
I can't let horror go up anymore. I basically spent half my turn just moving it down two spaces. <laughs> now I'm going to let it move up two spaces? No, I'm just going to take this... This I'm just going to pretend this didn't say take the planning action card. It said convert one of these and, and try to lie to myself about how bad that feels. So I'm going to make it a success. And I lose one time unit, but I get to take the lucky rabbit's foot. Now I could use this right now and uh, it will allow me to make a horror roll and potentially get one of these benefits. Including lowering horror, allowing me to move another space. Uh, I don't see much reason to do it right now. So I won't. Great. Uh, this goes in my backpack. You will notice that some items have hands on them. I can only hold two hands of items at a time, but some items don't need to be in your hands. They can be in your backpack and activate just fine, like this one. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. I'm out of cards, but I have a lot of uh, time units to spend. So I get this back for free, and with seven time units, that's pretty exciting. I've got to get another sprint. I really want to try to move. This this person's gonna die. There's no that's that's a hundred percent happening. Um, so that's two spent right there. Do I want to take one of these defense cards? Possibly. Hmm. I might want another distraction. I really, I'm really hoping to lower the horror again. So that's another three. And with my final two points... Mm hmm. You know what? I'll take another sprint. So we'll see if we can really get moving on the next one. I do really, I do really want to go to this shed to get that bat. But... Um, he's in front of it. So... Okay. So these are my cards now for my next hand... I am going to put the ones that I already spent previously away. This is the boring part of the stream because you can't see those cards. Not that it would be that exciting even if you could. All right. Now, oh, I just realized this also has a little, I've been looking at the back of the rule book and they've got a nice little reminder right here about the phases in the game. They think of everything at Van Ryder. All right. So this resets back to six. And uh, the killer, Hans, our friend Hans, is going to move up here. And he is going to kill this victim. Victim is dead. As a result, this moves up one space. Uh, but not, we're safe from any other effects for now. And uh, now we draw a tarot card. And let's see. More horror coming? Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy's all about horror, this guy. He's just standing there, this card says. Yes, we've got to raise this by two. They really don't want me to get into the green. They really don't want that. And he is going to move two spaces towards the closest figure. So one, two, one, two, three. It's, it's, this is the lucky winner at makeout point. Who, by the way, <laughs> kind of sad... The theme of this was treasure hunt, so I guess they're just hunting for treasure, but there's just one person alone at makeout point. That's, you know what, I can kind of relate to that. Okay, um, anyway, one, two, one, two, yeah, this is the space. So they they don't attack him yet. However, now you're going to get to see the panic phase in action. If a victim was killed this turn, any victims in the space with the killer panic. They're like, ah! That's the panic sound, as we all know. What that means is we roll a die. And we knock my figure out of the dock. Uh, the result was a two. And you can see these little numbers on these spaces. Those are purely, unless there's some cards, I'll say otherwise, purely for this panic phase. Uh, he would escape and run because he's freaking out out of the path with the number two on it. However, the only path out of makeout point says three through six. So, um... They, they can't get away. He's blocking the exit. Sorry. They've, they pan, they're panicking right in that space. I don't think anything happens uh, if they can't get out. 
right? They don't do they get attacked or something if they stay where they are? I think they just I think they're just chilling. <laughs> well, they're panicking. Um Yeah, just leave them where they are. Okay, no big deal. All right, and now it is back to me. So let's see, how do we want to start this? Uh, I think we got to go with the distraction again. Or we just start sprinting. <laughs> you know, I was going to go there. That was my plan, was to rescue that person. So I'm, I'm pretty annoyed about this. Now I might, ooh, now I have a couple of different options, actually. Because, actually, because <laughs> now the path is clear to the utility shed, I could go one, two, three, uh, it's still five, wait, one, two, three, four spaces that direction, which is still a lot. Or I could go one, two, three, four, five to try to come that way, or one, two, three, four, five. No, that takes too long. Ah, I really need a victim, though. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go to the shed. I think my plan is to get to the shed. Let's just try sprinting. Mm. We're going to distract him first. Here we go. All right. Um, ooh. No, I cannot spend two cards. So I'm going to just take the one success off of that, gain a time unit, and lower the horror by one. Better than nothing. That's for sure. And now let's try running all over the place like a constipated wiener dog. Okay. Oh, my God, with these results. This torturing me. Oh, that's pretty bad. Ugh, this is bad. Um, no, once I, I really don't want to spend these cards. I'm going to go ahead and use the ore choice here because I don't want my round to end so early. I'm going to lose a health. And I am going to lose two time units. But I get to keep going. So I'm going to try to sprint again with my other sprint card. Not, uh, not going quite as well as I had hoped right now. Oh, man, why do they do this? <laughs> Number four. Right, he was on four. Um, I mean, I can't do anything about that. So I... So I Oh, God, do I just cut my losses here? This is really pathetic. This is, um... I can't believe I failed outright both sprints. Just, that's just really sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop. I mean, I'm just gonna stop. So, it doesn't matter what I... So I lose another health. Guys, my character's almost dead. And I lose two more time units, which is also pretty bad. So now I uh, have only three points to spend on things. I'm keeping this walk card. I'm, I am getting almost all my zero costs back. Actually, I think it is all of them. So I do have my original starting hand back. So that's nice. And with my three points, I keep wanting to go for the distractions because I just want that to be lower so bad. And I, I used all the sprints, so there's no sprints left. I wasted them. I think I am going to go for the distractions still. I think i got to try to work on that. There's probably other cards I should be buying. Oh, that's that's always the case. 100% the case. Um, hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I had one... No, I can't do that. I really got to move. Nah, forget it. Okay, that's it. That's what I'm buying. That is my option. And uh, what happens next, again, is the killer phase. Guess what? The killer's right where he wants to be and murders someone else. And now things are going to get real fun because... Oh, not yet. Sorry. Next time they're going to get real fun. If he gets over there, oh, I'm really going to be so, so sad. 
if he beats me to that spot. <laughs> it's very likely. Things started off so well. Isn't that just the way it always is? Anyway, Horror goes up again as a result of that. And his attack power is now three, which is scary. Okay, and let's see what our tarot card says. Oh, there's no horror symbol on it for once. He kept swinging his hammer and killing and killing, it says. If there are no victims on the board, discard this and draw the next card. Well, there are some. So, twice in a row, he's going to move towards a victim and attack, if possible. <laughs> this is really exactly what I do not want him to do. <laughs> oh, boy. This is rough. So, he's going... He can't do it. So, he's going one, two. So, he got a little speed boost. He ran out of there. And uh, nobody's panicking. So that is the end of that phase. I may have to move up to where he is. I'm going to try, just so he just... I, I want to keep them alive so bad. They're, they're hiding together in this cabin, the final star-crossed lovers. Anyway, uh, so people in the chat hanging out. Doru Kiryu wants to see the dice hate me. That's how it usually goes. Ernie in the chat. Uh, says he did not get the last Kickstarter. I'm assuming the uh, Final Girl Series won, but he says, I'm glad I have a second chance. Would you suggest doing the all-in pledge and get all the minis in the one box to fit it all or suggest just gameplay only? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question that only you can answer. It really depends a lot on your budget and what, you are, what you're willing to do in that regard. Um... I, I like all the modules, at least the ones I've played so far. I haven't tried them all. And it, there is something fun to mixing and matching, especially if you're a big horror fan. And I'd say if you've played Hostage Negotiator and you've enjoyed that system a good amount, then you're probably pretty safe going all in, uh, at least for one of the seasons or series, they call them. I don't know that you need both uh, right away. But, you know... There's a lot. They're big and expensive. For me, I didn't go in for the minis because I don't really care about that. They're they're fine, but I, I'm fine with these meeples. Um, I don't have the play mat either, although it looks kind of nice. Uh, so that's that's not really my thing. But yeah, if you I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you like solo games. If you like Hostage Negotiator, uh, and if it's in your budget and you want a new solo game, pff, go all in, get it all. <laughs> I think I think it's a very good product. I just, you know, it's, it is a lot of stuff. So it is one of those things where it's like, you can pace yourself if you don't have the sickness that most of us do. But that's up to you to go see and check it out. Um, I'm going to drink some water right now. We've got Chagogs in the chat gifting subs to people. Always appreciated. God bless you, sir. And uh, Kina Kanate, I don't know how your name is said still. I can never get it right, but that's how I like to say it. Ask if this is the Dead by Daylight board game. Basically, well, this is the, I mean, more apt uh, comparison would be the Friday the 13th board game. It's pretty much that in board game form. I'm going to drink one more. And uh, Doro Kiryu has redeemed song mode, which means for the next few minutes, I'll, I'll call it the next round. How about that? I will uh, speak only in song. So let's get back to the game as I do that. Let me just collect my, my thoughts. All right. So you're watching the stream. This is how you sing when you don't have a tune. You just kind of sing talk like William Shatner. But worse, somehow, I've got all of my zero-cost cards. Oh, and also a distraction. Ooh, I really don't want this fella to get to the cabins because I want to save those people really badly. I also want to go here to purchase a bat, but a lot of different things depend on that. Happening or not, things could be bad. I'll start with my distraction, because that's what I had. Nobody said I had to rhyme, but if it happens, it happens. What can I say? I'm feeling a little Wayne Brady today. I've got some options here I'm looking through to see if there is something I can do. A short rest would be nice because I took some hits. I do not want to die. That would be the pits. How about distraction? Because it's what I always start with and it usually doesn't go well. I got one success. That's actually what that always does for me. That's sort of my lucky result. 
moving this down once more before it gets moved up again later. And I get a time result. Now I could convert that, as I like to say. I could convert that right now or any day. Should I do it and give up my short rest, but I might die? Uh, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Take a risk. Who cares? Maybe I'll die. That'll be fun. So here comes one more time unit. And lowering this another spot. We can all feel good about that. Next up, we've still got a couple of cards in hand. Hey, should I try to focus some more? Yeah, why not? I'm all in on focusing, spending all my cards. Wow, would you look at that? It's absolutely nothing. Don't really like that result. Don't really like it at all. I'm going to waste more cards converting that to a success. So down goes horror one more time, and I lose one of those. All I've got left is this. It allows me to walk. I've got to try to use it. Oh, I do have a lucky rabbit's foot. But I'd rather use that when I have three dice, so I'm going to wait. Wow, would you look at that. One success. That's good enough for me. I get to move one space. I'll be heading to the lake. Lake, 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 lake. Is that what I want? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. But he is here, and I was trying to distract him. But he's going to be moving anyway. It's kind of a no-win scenario. Uh, uh Wait, he's moving closer to me. Hold on there. One, two, three spaces away. Hmm, I'd be further away. I guess I should move to the lake just to try to stop him from getting to them. Doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good! Hope you like this. <laughs> um, planning phase. I've got seven units. Did I spend one? I think I should have six units. I don't want to cheat. That's the last thing I want. I started with six. Then I had eight. Then I had seven. Then I had... Uh, uh, let's just go with six. So, I don't have a lot going on right now. I could buy another distraction. It's my favorite card. There you go. That's my buy, Distraction Sprint, and Close Call, which is a re-roll. Will it work out for me? I don't know. I really, 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 really hope so. Okay, and now the killer goes. He's going to move one space towards me. Womp. He can't attack me yet. But let's see if this... Because, actually, he will kill me if he gets a chance to move to my space. So this might be the end of the game. Oh, no. All right, let me give you... Let me take a little break here. That's the end of sing mode. That was way more... That was more than you asked for. Um... Um, Ernie says, uh, yeah, you could buy the extra stuff on their website if you really feel like it. That is true. Van Ryder usually has that stuff, but you know, this one was hard to find. So that is, that is always the danger. It could be hard to find for a little while. Uh, people seem to be enjoying sing mode. Great. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you people, but, um, so here's the, here's the bad news, everybody. This is the Hans wants me. He's always wanted me card. <laughs> 
In my brilliant plan to lure him away from them, I lured him closer towards me. Uh, which means he is going to kill me. Now, here's what happens. There is a little bit of a thing here. Boy, I could have bought a, like, a card to retaliate or try to avoid damage, but I didn't I could do that. Uh, what's about to happen is he's doing th exactly three damage. That's his current power level, and that's how much health I have. So here is one, two, and you'll see this little token right here. Uh, both of us have that, your final health point. When you get down to that, you flip it, and there's a chance that you might come back to life. Because this is a horror movie, and sometimes you think they're dead and they come back. So, um, let's find out. Nope, it is blank. I am officially completely dead. But that's okay. So, could have done better. Could have done worse. Uh, I had a good start. I feel disappointed that I didn't... I might as well have just tried my rabbit's foot. I sort of wasted that entire trek to get that item. Had I gotten one more victim, had I made that work for me, I would. I was so close. I felt so good early on, and then it all went downhill f fast. I would have got a cool special ability, uh, but I didn't get that, so, so who cares? I didn't even see his dark powers or anything. So, unfortunately... Uh, didn't make a dent in Hans. <laughs> uh, that just didn't work out in my favor. Uh, and part of that is, uh, poor plant. You know, I took a lot of hits to my health and stayed too close to him. Part of it is just luck of the draw. I kept getting these cards to raise the horror and I kept f futilely trying to lower it again. So that I was, I was kind of doing a dance there that was more or less a waste of time. I don't know. You be the judge of exactly what, what went wrong with that one. But that's okay. Because now this way you got to see how the game plays, the basics of it. And I'm going to actually go another round, but we are going to swap out this character in this location and the girl as well. So I can show you what some of the different stuff uh, that you can do in Final Girl is. So we're just going to say goodbye to all these items. Goodbye to all of this. Goodbye. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there that you didn't get to see. Uh, and you have different cards. You don't use every card in every game. So you're not going to see everything every time you play, which is exciting. Now I can kind of show you also the back of this. Well, would you look at that? It's the cover of a box. Wow. Isn't that like just magical? It, uh, there's a, it flips onto the box. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, same, of course, with Hans, uh, who uh, is, uh, well, say goodbye to that. There's that cover of that game. Do, do, do. Just going to sweep everything away. It's a giant mess, but you can't see it on camera, so it's fine. Oh, wait, sing mode was disabled. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I just do that. Um, this stays the same. Those people are not dead any longer, and I don't have this rabbit's foot any longer. All right. So with Final Girl, you can mix and match any of these sets uh but for the purposes of tonight i am just gonna i'm gonna do another one I, i'm keeping the sets together as they come sort of th sort of thematically how they fit together um uh let's see uh kina kanate asked if there's an ash character i don't believe so you know i don't think even in season two there's not really like any zombies i don't think there's a zombie set really hmm Interesting. Yeah, that's that might that, that's obviously another one that they'll need to do, uh, and 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 yes, it's called Final Girl. So there's no um, well, I guess you could have a a girl version of Ash, uh, but they don't have an Ash as far as I know. And uh, Kamui asked how I like this compared to Hostage Negotiator, and I like it a lot. I I think I like it more than Hostage Negotiator, uh, but you know, Hostage Negotiator has so many. I, I certainly like it more than base Hostage Negotiator. But Hostage Negotiator does stand out because it does have all kinds of different modules and abductors, plus obviously the career mode, which I went through. So those things still make it special and make it so this isn't just a replacement in my mind. But it certainly stands on its own, goes head to head on that game in terms of pure fun. And I think a lot of the system mechanics are improvements uh, on that game. Uh, Hoser says he misses the frustration die. I'm pretty sure season two has a frustration die, Hoser. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming back. Anyway, I'm not going to delay anymore. I've already set it up ahead of time. 
I have the board over here for the second round. Of course, we went after their kind of Jason alike for our first matchup. So this time, we are heading to Maple Lane. And we are facing off against their Freddy alike. This is Dr. Fright, the dream doctor. <laughs> As you all know, it's clearly, clearly you can see that. And uh, we're going to be facing off against him on Maple Lane. And I'm going to bend this back so it doesn't flap up and drive me crazy. All right. While trying to not completely ruin... Well, you know what? Let's just keep it how it is. So I will explain... Oh, we're also going to be playing with uh, Nancy. Nancy's our final girl this time around. We've got our terror deck all set up. That's our setup card. Uh, we've got an event deck. Did I do an event for this one yet? No, I did not. So you'll get to see that. And we've got some item decks, of course, as well. There are some differences in how uh, both this board work as well as how Dr. Fright works, which I will explain in a second. He has some pretty weird different rules. Some different things going on. Uh, but first, one thing I do need to do in terms of setup is give both of us new final death or not death tokens. So I randomly am going to shuffle all of these death tokens. Oh, those are not death tokens. <laughs> those are just resource markers or something. Um, and... Uh, I think it's three of these, it's like three and nine or something, have an extra point of health on them. So uh, we will see if either of us get the benefit of that. I am, again, playing with Nancy, who only has four health. She's, uh, she's I died with the other girl, and she had way more health. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Probably just as poorly. All right, I think that's mostly everything set up. Uh, there is one other new thing I'll tell you about. Okay. Yes, the victims are all in place. Oh, we need to be in place as well. I start here, and he starts here. Uh, let's see. All right. So, uh, Akina Kanate says not a huge Evil Dead fan like uh, Ash versus Evil Dead more. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, my friend. Okay, now... We have everything set up here. Here are the differences between these, this set and the other set, which did not have any special rules. All the other sets besides Hans and the camp have their own special weird things going on. First of all, we have Maple Lane here. As you can see, this one has four different uh, item piles. And I can draw from those by searching in any of these houses, which are marked in orange, there are street spaces and house spaces. Now, there's a little bit of a, of a catch to that. First of all, I can only search each house once, uh, and then it will be marked with a, an X, which I have somewhere that I'll put on there. And second of all, if there's a person in the house, they're not just going to let me come into their house and say hi. I actually have a new card here. There's a special card just for this location that I can purchase called Convince. And if I want to enter one of those houses with somebody in it, empty ones are fine, I have to try to convince them to let me in. <laughs> so that's how I'll be moving around the board, uh, at least to some degree. And uh, you can see this is, I don't know, the name of this setup is Maple Lane. So I guess this is just the average day. There's a couple of people in the middle of a busy intersection hanging out and everyone else is at home in their lovely suburban homes living their lovely suburban lives uh, and this is kind of, i feel like this is a face-off between me and dr fright in the street i think that's all the real big differences between uh, this in terms of the uh location but let me just grab the rule book and make sure that's true yeah that's pretty much true now dr fright is weird he's very weird look at this guy the dream doctor oh he needs a marker down there and there's a couple of things that are weird about Dr. Fright. Does he start at four? Yes, he does. He doesn't have as much health as the other guy, 
but he has some different tricks up his sleeve. So we have a new deck over here with a card on top of it. And this card has an awake side and an asleep side. <laughs> and while I'm awake, the game plays more or less as normal, uh, except I cannot attack the doctor and he cannot attack me because he exists only in dreams and I am uh, not in a dream right now. So uh, if, as long as I'm awake, as long as this card's on the top of the deck, we can't touch each other. He can still kill victims because I guess those, it's assumed they're napping or whatever it is. Now, if I do go to sleep, and there's a few different ways that could happen, maybe a card tells me to go to sleep, or maybe I use a card like a rest card that will result in me going to sleep. I'll show you how it works when we get there, but what's going to happen is I'm going to flip this over, essentially, and I will be in the boiler room, which is Dr. Fright's domain, of course, and... Uh, there's going to be weird things going on. I'll still be moving around. I'll still be able to get items. I'll be able to attack him. He'll be able to attack me. Uh, but I'm going to be mo looking through these cards in a specific way that may or may not result in me getting attacked further. And I will, I'll explain that when it actually happens so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so anything else Dr. Fright does that I should tell you about? Um... Victims can't follow me while I'm in a dream. Mm. The rest is all about the boiler room, pretty much. Otherwise, you know, I want to lower his health before he lowers mine. That's the name of the game. Nancy has her own special abilities here for all the different uh, people that I hopefully will rescue. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. I'm going to start with my same basic hand of cards. Oh, right, we have to do an event. There's some good items up here, by the way. Oh, you can't see all of them right now. Uh, but we've got a rifle and a pitchfork and a bicycle. That seems useful. Hmm. There's also a crucifix, which makes me uh, stop and think. I don't think there's a vampire monster in any of these sets either. They, they gotta get on. They gotta get on some of these classic ones. Okay, so we start with an event, and our event is going to be boyfriend. Uh, the flavor text here says he is sort of clingy and always wants to talk. <laughs> so this calls upon one of our special victims, and it says, "I gotta grab him." It's just a different colored meeple. Place this special victim in the boyfriend's house, right there, labeled the boyfriend's house. This is your boyfriend. If the killer would target you, the killer instead targets the boyfriend. So I could use him as a meat shield. During upkeep, move the boyfriend two spaces towards you. Then if the boyfriend is in your space, lose two time units. So he's going to follow me around the map. But uh, if he reaches my space, he wastes my time by talking to me because he's clingy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, that's um, uh, sort of annoying. So I guess I'm going to be trying to avoid him. And I assume he can walk anywhere. He doesn't have to worry about convincing anybody to let him in his house or their house. So that shows you some of the things, that the weird senses of humor, and how different these events can make uh, your games. Kamui asked, is this supposed to be Freddy Krueger? Yeah, 100%. There's, that's, a, that's a Freddy Krueger type of guy right there, if I ever saw one. Okay. You know what? Why don't we... So right now, he, I, we, he can't attack me. You can also see there's also four exits here that are pretty close together. Um, I'm going to look at some of these items and see if there are any that I should particularly try to go for. The pitchfork is a weapon modifier, and I can also discard it to prevent an attack's damage. So that's cool. Oh, it's, that's the range. Some of them are ranged items. So this one is a melee weapon. Um, by the way, you can't use a weapon on its own. You've got to use it with an action card, and it just deals additional damage. Now the rifle here... I can shoot from one to three spaces away, does two damage. It has two uses. That's what those uh, are. They have little tokens to mark if something has uses. And, oh, this one, the rifle is an exception to this rule. You actually use it by itself. 
You have to make a horror roll to hit him. Okay, rifle seems pretty good. Bicycle. Oh, we get a bicycle token if I take this. Um, I can move myself to any other street space on the board once per turn, as long as I'm not carrying any items in my hands. I really like that. And the crucifix. Discard this to ignore a horror increase or end an enemy's movement if they're in an adjacent space. Okay. Uh, I really like the bicycle and the rifle. So northeast and southwest. Oh, great. The opposites of the map that I that I want to go to. Um, Dorokiryu asked if this is like Pokemon. You can just walk into anyone's house. Dorokiryu, were you not paying attention? You must convince. You must convince people to let you into their house. Unless you're a boyfriend or an evil guy. Or a minion. Or a victim, I mean. <laughs> uh also, that's every RPG that's existed since, you know, 1983. So, <laughs> I don't know. You didn't have to go with Pokemon. Uh, a horse who can drive is posting symbols that I can't see. I don't know if those are emojis, but they're not showing up in my OBS chat. Hoser asks, are the baddies board specific or can you mix match any setting? You can mix match any setting. So, Dr. Fright comes with Maple Lane, but there's no reason you have to use him with Maple Lane. The board has its own items. And both of them have their own terror cards, and you can mix and match them however you'd like. So Dr. Fright could go to summer camp if you want him to. Uh, I was actually thinking of doing Hans in Maple Lane would basically be Halloween. Right? Because you got the, it's like a Michael Myers type of scenario. So you can come up with your own stuff like that. Sorry for drinking when no one's hydrating me, but, you know, I'm talking a lot. And that has an effect on my, my mouth. It's, you don't need to know the details. The mouth details. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. How do we get started here? There's a lot going on. So, hmm. My first instinct, I mean, he is just right next to these people. Oh, he's also right next to all of these guys. But I might be able to just go boop, boop, boop. Well, I can't do that in one turn, actually, but I'd like to try to rescue them um, and then maybe I could hit up one of these houses well I can't go into any houses this turn because I need to buy the convince card so that's not happening horse asked if tarot cards can be used at end of turn um, I'm th th these tarot cards happen at the always at the end of the turn and they're 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 bad if that's what you're referring to um, so yes, that's when that happens. But I don't know if I would... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about because I, I don't know that I would say th uh, that I use them. It's more like they're inflicted upon me. So I don't know. You tell me. Now, let's try to... Oof. Let's just do the thing I always do and focus first. Here we go. We're back in it, folks. All right, one success. So we get to lower horror by one, and we lose a time unit. Uh, all right. We could... Um, let's just try it again. I don't know when to quit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all right, so that's... We're just killing the... This is the Smalley's house, by the way. Now, that's the Smalley... <laughs> Bear with me, folks. I know you can't read that, but it says the Smalley's house, but the apostrophe is before the S. So it's not the Smalley family. There is one entity known as the Smalley, and that is the Smalley's house. As printed, I don't, I don't know. That's I'm kind of... Maybe one of the next enemies will be the Smalley. Terrified. That sounds scary. All right. Um, do I do I do it? Yeah, I do it. Spending the two cards that I always like to spend because they're not as useful early on to make this a success so that I can lower horror one more. I just have a dream of having this in the green zone, and it makes me happy to, to dream that dream. Next up, let's try to walk. Oh, if I got two successes on this, I'd feel real good. 
I almost wish I had done this first so I could try to convert one of these, but oh well. All right, I really got to try to avoid this. <laughs> it's a dangerous intersection. What can I tell you? So uh, I get to move up to one space. Hello. And uh, I lose another time unit. Do I try to walk again? I can, but I really am so low on time. My next turn is basically going to be just a wash. <laughs> well, let me make sure about... Uh, Hoser says, don't dream. Dr. Fright will get you. Good point. Good point. Good point. Um... Yeah, okay. I mean, what's the difference? Let's go for it. Uh, well, the difference is what I'm going to purchase for my next turn. But I'm also worried that he's going to get to them. So I'd like to try to not let him get to them. Because he's going to get to them. Technically, he... You know, I might rule that he would go for the smallies over me. Let's save it. Let's save it. All right, so I'm going to end my turn there. I only have three points to spend. I'm going to go ahead and get... Ooh. I'm going to buy a sprint card and... Oh, should I buy a convince? <laughs> yeah, I should buy a convince. In fact... No, I don't want the southeast, though. What's the southeast? Oh, the pitchfork. Eh. Hmm. Let's go with this. All right. That resets. And uh, the killer phase occurs. So he moves one space. Now, as I said before, there's a choice here. I actually think, in terms of realism or whatever, let's, if this was a horror movie... He's not going to go for these people in the street right away. He's going to terrorize the neighborhood. And there's more victims here as well. So either way, he's going to kill somebody. So he's going to head to the Smallies, and he is going to murder one of these victims. They are dead. His bloodlust goes up. And uh, now they are going to panic. Oh, actually, they're not going to panic yet. First, we get a tarot card. Here we go. It's too quiet. Ain't that just the way it is? Horror goes up again. And Dr. Fright is going to move two spaces towards me. Ah, uh, come on, really? All right. Hello. And it says, if the killer's in the same space as you, horror goes up again. <laughs> this is just a never-ending, depressing tug of war. All right, so that's how that worked out. Now these guys are going to panic. Oh, this could be... Well, I'll determine which direction I go in, I suppose. So I roll two dice. We got a two and a four. And so one of them is going <laughs> this way. God, this is so annoying. Uh, and one of them is going this way. So much for my great idea to save two people at once effectively and efficiently. Uh, okay, so that's that. Back to my turn. And I don't have too much going on. And now it's just me and him chilling in the street here. Let's see. This is just one of those games where you gotta roll with the punches. And if you die, eh, that's just how it is. It's a horror movie, right? <laughs> Maybe that's why it doesn't feel as bad as a hostage negotiator. Because there I feel like, oh, lives are on the line. This I feel like, well, that's just a good movie. That's just how it's supposed to end. Ah, boy. Let's start with the sprint. Let's start with the sprint. And we'll end on AT&T. All right. I don't know how to avoid that. I don't have a good place to roll these. So, I was afraid this would happen. You know, that I would fail. <laughs> um, 
I oof, this is really this is painful. I've got to do it. Unfortunately, I've got to trade these in. I'm going to turn this into a success. So uh, I only get to move. yeah no so yeah so I get to move up to two spaces. I lose a time unit. I will move. I still can't go into any houses. One of these two are going to die. Um, southwest. Either way, I'm close to the southwest. Mm. Yeah, let's go this way. So one, two. So I am going to free this victim. Now I get to choose one of these rewards. So this could turn out okay. So I could get two time units right now, which might not be bad. I could move two spaces, but I'd just be going right back to the intersection. I don't really want to do that. I could take the long rest action card. Well, I don't want that. I'm not going to sleep. Or the planning action card, which is the one from earlier that lets me plan my role. I think I'm going to go with um, the two extra time units right now. So, yes, back up to seven. All right. So, okay. This person's definitely going to die, but that's okay. Um, as Dory Kiryu says, it's okay if they die. They were supposed to die anyway. That's right. Horse Who Can Drive asked if I feel I have respect for the Dr. Fright in this. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. What's his backstory, actually? Uh, here, their quote is a police report. I was in, quote, I was in some sort of boiler room and a grotesque man with a pitchfork was chasing me. I was sure he was going to kill me. It felt so real. He had pockmark scars all over his skin and his eyes were milky white. A strange black something, maybe a cloud, but with eyes swirled behind him. I was terrified and ran. I rounded a corner and lost my footing. Okay, so this is not, this is not his backstory. I was just trying to find out if he was also a pedophile like Freddy. <laughs> But no, he's a doctor. I think I don't know what I don't know why he wants to kill people. I can respect the murder if it's just for murder's sake, you know. Please don't call the police. Okay, uh, so that was my turn. Now it's his turn. He is once again going to move a space. It's just occurring to me that this was supposed to go up in horror, and I can't remember if I did that or not. But uh, because I. Um, like cheating, I'm going to just say that's okay if I did or didn't. I'm going to survive on that. And we'll all live with that knowledge together that we're complicit in this cheating together. So he's going to move towards this victim and kill him. Boom, boom. And that's going to move up again. So he's getting scary already. I don't like it at all. And let's see what our tarot card is. Didn't you know they were already dead? It says. If you have not saved any victims, okay, so I have, so I'm going to ignore this. Oh, come on. <laughs> I remove, I lose one of my victims. So I, I'm one step further away from completing my card and getting a special ability, which by the way, that's a lot of text. I don't know what, that, that's a lot. So that's great. And now he's moving and killing the closest uh, victim So he's going in here. This is going to be even shorter than the last game. He's killing another Smalley. Which is going to raise this again. And this time I am going to move Horror up. And this person is panicking. I don't blame him. Maybe that's Smalley. They got a six. Which means nothing. There's only one way in and out of this house. <laughs> they stay put. <laughs> They don't have a they don't have a back door at the Somali's house. All right. Um, okay, that's it. So it's back. To, oh wait, did I skip the plan? Yes, <laughs> I skipped the planning phase. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but well, it might have if he had tried to attack me. But I I, I get to, to I get to buy things. Right. Yeah, I, didn't, I have no cards in hand. 
Oh, and I forgot to put these away, didn't I? Yes, I did. Sorry, guys. I'm just all over the place right now. On my last turn, all I did was sprint. That was all I did. All of these zero costs are now back in my hand. And I've got seven points to spend. So this is this is a big deal. Um God. I'm a broken record, but I'm gonna buy distraction. And then I'm gonna buy a search and a convince. That's all my points, and then resets to six. So I'll be able to try to enter someone's house. Oh, actually, I can enter one of these empty ones for free. That's true. I'll buy a reroll instead, instead of that for now. I don't think I'm doing well. These victims are all going to die. <laughs> uh, all right. So now it is my turn officially. I did this in the wrong order, but it's okay. He's getting very strong, and I'm kind of scared. You're going to get to see him at his full power pretty soon, I think. Let's just go ahead and walk. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's try to walk into this house and hopefully dig up a bicycle. Why is this always... I keep getting these conversions. And I will convert. And I will walk. I am now in an anonymous home. And now I'm going to search this anonymous home for a bicycle. I'm going to steal a bicycle. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Kids, only do this if you're being pursued by an evil dream serial killer. Or if it's like a nice bike. So, all right. Get to take the top item. So, another time unit used, but I did get the bicycle. It's in my hot little hands right now, everybody. And it's a two-handed item, so it really is. Um... And now I have to... What did I do with these tokens? Oh, they're over here. Uh, a lot of these have different tokens. And if you check out the Season 2 Kickstarter, they also have minis for these. So you could have a bike mini if that was really important to you. <laughs> I do not have a bike mini, unfortunately. What is this, a bomb? Oh, no, groceries. I have a bike token. Well, I'm supposed to have a bike token. I, I'll, I'll let you know if I can find it. Why are there so many groceries in here? Come on. Is it really the last thing I looked at? Of course it is. Um, place the bicycle token on the street base adjacent to you. This is a bice, bicycle token, just in case anyone doesn't believe me. Try to, try to focus that for you. No? All right. Just trust me. It's a bike. That is a bike, right? Yeah, that's a bike. And if you don't have any items in your hands and you're with the bicycle, I can move myself to any other street space once per turn. That's really that's really good, because as you have seen, it's difficult to get around a little bit in this game. Okay. So now I uh, can't actually leave the house <laughs> to make use of that bike. <laughs> because I uh, am out of my walk cards so i guess we're just going to try to work on lowering horror let's try the distraction card let's create a distraction with this bike huh a bike went missing that's what he's going to say or he'll say nothing of the sort oh god I can't lose four. I've got I've got to convert it. Hmm. 
converting it. So I gain a time unit, and that goes down. And I'll use my regular focus card, the last card in my hand. One success, back down and down again for that. Okay, the planning phase, I now have four points to spend. Oh, that should be there. I'm gonna want what? A distraction? <laughs> That's the only card, no, I'm not buying a distraction. Uh, let's buy, hmm. Probably a, just a couple of sprints, I think. Maybe a convince. No, I don't need a, I only need one sprint because now I have the bike. Sprint. I will have a walk also. So you know what? I'll get another a sprint and a search because that I should be able to make that combo work for me, hopefully. I won't, but I'll try. Now I just need to sort my cards out appropriately. And boringly. Okay, and now it is time for, so that will get reset. The killer is right where he wants to be. He's murdering someone else. All right, here we go, everybody. <laughs> get ready for some fun. <laughs> so... Moving to this space means he is going to unlock his dark power. I'll tell you what that means. You'll notice right here on the board, this portrait of him, that's actually a couple of cards. There's different cards that you can have there. And this bottom one represents his dark power. And we are going to find out exactly what that dark power is right now. The name of this dark power is Never Really Dead. That seems like a pretty upsetting name considering my goal is to kill him upsetting imagery too i'm sorry for that i'll read this one to you when this card is revealed place dr fright's black final health token back in the reserve pool and replace it with a white final health token if he loses his last health reveal three black final health tokens from the reserve pool and restore his health accordingly great so what you're telling me is essentially he has three extra health points. Cool. All right. Okay. Well, that's a lot of fun. All right. Good dark power. You know what? Good dark power. You really did well on that. Let's find a terror card. But if this is a dream, then I can dot, dot, dot. If you are awake, immediately discard this card and resolve the next terror card. All right. I'm still awake. Nothing's put me to sleep yet. Next card. Frankie is coming for you. <laughs> That's what it says. Frankie. I, oh, I guess his name is Frankie instead of Freddy. Dr. Frank Fright. Okay. If there are no victims on the board, there are. Uh, he move, First, he moves towards the closest victim. Well, he can only leave one space, so he'll go out that way. If Dr. Fright is on a space with a victim, two horror, but he's not, so only one. Well, thank God for small miracles. Um, no panic, and then that will be the end of that turn, that round. Uh, let's see, let's see. A horse who can drive asked if I ride my bike ever. Are you asking me that? No, I don't have a, I don't have a bike. No, <laughs> I can't even ride a bike. Uh, this is light glistening across me. Eh, who cares? Um, all right. Here we go. I've been awake so far a lot. I haven't been able to show you the cool boiler room. Let's see if this plan pays off. It's It might not. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to attempt to walk. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to take the L on this one. I lose a health, I move a sp space, and I lose two time units. Now I have this bike, I am going to use it to take me to any other street space on the board. I am going to do that right, 
Oh, I forgot about the boyfriend. <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot about this boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, it's a different rule that I've been I was supposed to keep up with. Hold on, let me see if I can figure this out. So we've had four turns. During upkeep, he's supposed to move two spaces towards me. So he would have gone like one. Oh no, that's not right. He would have gone one, two. He probably would have ended up in a space with me, but I can't. I'm not going back to that now. One, two. Look, I'm just going to assume he's he's down here and he's going to make me lose two time units now. Sorry, boyfriend. But now I'm going to get on my bike and ride away from him. <laughs> so where am I taking my bicycle? I'm going to ride to any other street space. I really want to get the rifle. So I'll go... Hmm... God. Here, I guess. And then I'm going to... Oh, wait, didn't I buy a... Oh, I for... Oh, no. I, my plan did not include convincing anyone. Why did I buy a sprint? I should have bought a convince. Huh. Um, I'm just going to pretend that I did that. Don't tell anybody I'm cheating. <laughs> That's what you can do. When it's your stream and it's a solo game, you can just make stuff up. Nobody can do anything about it. Call the police. What are you going to do, arrest me? Uh, so anyway, now that I'm here, I'm actually going to use the convince action to try and convince these nice folks in this house to let me inside for some shelter. Please let me in. Please, please, please let me in. By the way, this actually has a reward for three successes, which most cards do not. But you need three dice for that. I only have two. Hey, one success. So I get to um, go inside. That's my <laughs> reward. Thank you. Thank you. And I lose a time unit. And now I will search. And I'm going to try to get that pitchfork. No, sorry. <laughs> the rifle. I don't want the pitchfork. I want the rifle. <laughs> One success and I get to take it. Here we go. Hey, one success. Pitchfork, or sorry, rifle is mine. Now, that does mean I'm going to have to swap out the bike for the rifle to use it. It also means I'm going to have to be asleep because I can't attack him unless I'm asleep, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. So that's a lot of fun. I only have one time unit left. Oh, wait, did I actually... Sp nah, I don't... Well, I am getting all my zeros back. I think I maybe was supposed to be at zero now. I don't know. Look, watch the clock if you want to correct me so bad. I'm one man. It's hard to keep track of everything. I'll just buy a, another Convince. No, I don't need another Convince card, or do I? <laughs> uh, I'll take a close call. Zoop, zoop. All right, let's see what happens now. So, oh, I think I also, oh, I think he's been so close to anyone, it doesn't, doesn't matter. But right now, he now has a speed of two. So he's going to move two spaces towards whoever is nearest. Which, um... One, two, one. It's one of these guys. I don't think it really matters. Um, this person's got a nice, spacious home. Go, go murder them. He murders them. Move that track up. And a terror card. I'm so sleepy. Well, here we go. If you're awake, roll a die. All right, let's see what happens. 
That's a four. If the result is less than the current horror level, you fall asleep. It's not. It's equal. All right. So, and then he's going to move towards uh, a, a, another victim. I'm staying awake, everybody. I'm still up. <laughs> Hoser said, time works differently in the dream world. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like Inception. I, I don't know. It's like Inception. Okay. And now I'm not going to forget this time. The boyfriend, he's coming up to see me. I really hate that guy a lot. Okay. I would like to rescue some of these people real bad. And then maybe even take a short rest. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to sleep. I'm, I want to shoot him. I want to shoot Frankie Freight. Uh, what are we going to do? There's, I don't have many options, to be honest with you. I only have one walk card, so even if I get in the street, this guy's going to come after me and make me lose time units. He's, he's the worst. Might as well try to walk, though. Let's just do it. By the way, I'll just take this opportunity to tell you there's another thing you can do in this game, the same as Hostage Negotiator, if you if you're not remember, don't remember or not familiar with it. Uh, I can spend one card without using its ability just to get a time point. Uh, so I could, for instance, right now, just spend all these to get a whole bunch of uh, currency to buy new cards. And in the rule book, they say this is a very important tactic. Don't forget it. Uh, and I never use it because I'm bad at this game. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that's the thing I can do, but I don't do it. Honestly, why why do they do that? Every time it's the same, always. I always end up having to do that. I do have a couple of rerolls in hand. Um, hmm. Sure, sure. I'll I'll use a reroll. Oh, these should have been. I'll try to reroll and see how that goes. Why not? We'll reroll this one. Great. I wanted two ones. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> Wait, why did I... Re no, 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 no. Why would I... Why would I re-roll the... Why would I re-roll... No, I didn't re-roll this. I didn't re-roll this. I would have re-rolled this. That was... Look, this was a... <laughs> guys, it's, I need some water. The problem is you guys are hydrating me. No hydration without representation. What's my... What's the worst case scenario here? Oh, God, everything's bad. All right, forget it. I'm just going to call this one a failure anyway. I'm going to move. I'm still going to get to take these people with me. And I lose a health. <laughs> I'm almost dead. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. And um, I lose two time units. Look at how many dead people there are. Anyway. I can't move anymore. I'm stuck where I am. I could just go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not really ready for that, though. Uh, let's focus. <laughs> Come on, two successes. Come on. Come on. Hey, wait a second. All right. Well, you know what? Let's let's just focus. Let's try to focus. Oh, sorry. I should have put... Um, there should be two counters on this shotgun. Sorry, rifle. It's a rifle. And these are tiny. Look at how tiny these little things are. Itsy bitsy. I am one to three spaces away from him. If I went to sleep right now, I could try to shoot him. <laughs> Which could be fun. <laughs> uh, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's going to be good. Let's try to focus. What? what am I, why am I surprised? <laughs> what do I expect anymore? <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I'm going to convert that to lower horror by one. And you know what? Let's do it. Oh, I'm, prob I'm probably going to die, but you know what? Let's just do it because it'll be fun. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to take a short rest. <laughs> I need to heal anyway. If I'm uh, asleep, can I still rescue victims? No. Never mind. I, I don't want to... <laughs> I, should, I should wait until I save them. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to sleep. All right. This is pathetic. I've got three uh, time units left. I've really got nothing going on here at all. Uh, I'm going to take a sprint, I guess, and to convince. Is that what I'm going to do? Okay. Anyway. Bzoop, bzoop. And now it's time for Dr. Fright to wreak havoc <laughs> on my life. <laughs> He's going over here. He's murdering this person. <laughs> He's getting stronger and scarier. And slash her. So if he were in the same space as me, he would attack me, but he's not. So he's going to move one space towards me. Oh, or anybody, but doesn't matter. All victims that are not in an orange, in a residential building, panic. Huh. Okay. We got a two and a six. Oh my god, why? So, one of them is moving here, and the other one is moving here. <laughs> Why? Uh, panicking idiots. And the boyfriend is moving to me, and I lose two time units because he's annoying. So now they panic again, I think. Oh, no, they would only, only do that if they're in a space with him still. That's right. Okay. Hmm. Should I get on my bike? Yeah, I might as well. Get on the bike. Um, all right. Hoser has redeemed sing mode. So once again, for the last time tonight, <laughs> for the next round, I will go back to song. Yes, it's time to try to maybe go to sleep or at least help some people out. I'll begin by sprinting. Or convincing. No, no, no. I need to walk, perhaps. Hmm. I don't expect to do very well with anything. Wait a minute. Uh, huh? <laughs> I'm a little confused about the wording on the bicycle. I don't want to slow down the stream or, you know, drag things out, but I sort of um, want to uh, just quickly Google the bicycle's wording in terms of the rules because it confuses me now that I read it. I'm not sure how to interpret that. Nothing came up on Google right away. It says, when you take this card, place the bicycle token on the street. Okay, we did that already. Uh, if you do not have any items in your hands, maybe I need to look up uh, uh, items with hands. I can, ha I can have them in my, in my backpack. <laughs> Why is this happening? 
Why am I? Forget. It doesn't matter. I don't know that we're going back to singing. I may not be doing it right. I'm confused because they both require hands. This is an item that requires hands. But the rifle's in my backpack, so I think that I can use it. So maybe I'm not technically carrying the bicycle. I'm not exactly sure how that's supposed to operate. But for now, I'm going to assume it's legal to operate it. Which brings me back to my first action on my turn. I'm going to... I'm not going to even play a card. I'm just going to use my bike. <laughs> I'm using it to move a single space. But you know what? It's worth it. Wait, do I bring the boyfriend with me or not? I don't think I do, so forget it. I would rather try to bring him with me, so I'm going to go ahead and walk here come two dice here they come two successes what a miracle i lose one time unit i get to move up to two spaces which is actually pretty great right now i'm gonna start by going here and guess what i'm rescuing my boyfriend congrats you're free goodbye forever go away i don't like ya. We're breaking up. I'm gonna start by going... I'm gonna start by going... Hmm. Here to get two more units of time. The next one, though, is tricky. What's my plan? It would be nice to heal. Or move two spaces, but I want to also maybe take a short rest. And if I take a short rest, then I don't need to heal. So which one should I prioritize? Probably saving more of the victims. So I'm going to go ahead and move two spaces. Thanks, boyfriend. You've been great. Keep in mind, so I get to move two spaces right this second. I'm going to go one, two, and I still have one walk left, which I will use now because making them exit is not an action. It can interrupt another action. That's good. Um, I don't really have any preferences. I might as well move down here because there's more victims down there. No, there aren't, actually. Doesn't really make any difference. I'll go up. Okay, that was a pretty good walk. We went on a brisk, beautiful walk. Actually, wait. That could be better. Oh, he moves kind of far. Yes, that's true. One, two, three. Here's a great thing about... Weapons in this game, they have range, but not line of sight. <laughs> you don't have to worry about line of sight. But also, I can't use my rifle because it's in my pocket and the bike is over there. So what am I gonna do? Maybe I'll kind of just cut this turn short. Really? Maybe. All right. Let's just keep these cards in hand. I'm not feeling anything right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build up. And I always forget to put the other ones back at the end of the turn, which is what I'm supposed to do. Do, 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 do. This may be a big mistake that I'm making, and I might be about to die, and that would be pretty depressing if I die without ever actually even going to sleep. <laughs> oh, no, he can't hurt me. I'm not in the dream world. I should be fine for now. So I have five points to spend. Here's a bunch of zeros that I get back. Five points. What do I want? Probably something good. 
probably something like distraction <laughs> and maybe let's go with improvise that's right no wait i can't do that that's too many forget about distraction <laughs> I'm going to do improvise and uh, guard. I'm trying new things, and I'll explain what those do in a minute. Okay. Now he is going to move one two spaces then we're gonna see a card ew he's disgusting <laughs> really don't like what happened there i really hate those cards i really hate that deck okay that's the end of sing mode I like Dora Kiryu's logic that I have. I must have a, a gun rack on my bike. Yeah. Let's go with that. So I bought a couple of new cards. One of them is Guard, which is a reaction card. So if he does attack me, I can use that to um, defend myself or attempt to. I also got uh, Improvise. This one makes um, my next roll more successful. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to go to sleep. Is that what? No, you know what? First, I'm going to walk. He's very close to me, and I'm kind of scared, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to walk first, and let's see how this goes. Dear God. Oh my god, well, there's nothing I can do about this. I'm moving up. I take a damage. And I lose two of these. And I do rescue this person. I'm, I, I gotta go for the health. So... I got a couple of health points back, so that's the good news. And then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. This is it. Here we go. We got one success which means I do recover one more health point and I lose a time point. I'm officially asleep. Here's what we do. I flip this card to its asleep side. Actually, I don't do that. Sorry. Well, you'll see. I put this card on the bottom of the deck and then I flip the entire deck. Okay. At the end of this round, I will have to resolve one of these cards. I'll show you how that works. I can choose to do it more often than that, but it's maybe risky. It depends if I really want to wake up quick. But before I do anything... Oh, I, sh I should have done this at the end of my last turn. Technically, you have to wait till the end of your turn to do it. Um, I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him. And before I do, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to improvise to see if I can make my odds better of shooting him. I don't think I'm going to win this game, but at least I can shoot him a couple of times and feel good about that. All right, one success. So for my next roll only, 
threes and fours will count as successes. I'll take it. So we're going to go in with the rifle. I have to spend a time unit to make a horror roll. And if I get a success, I deal two damage to him. So how about that? I mean, obvious. Oh, that counts as success because it's a three. So I'm glad I improvised. <laughs> Used up one of the rifle's uses, and two damage. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but I just actually hurt the enemy. I actually did something that I'm attempting to do. Feels pretty good. Um, and you know what? I'm going to just try it again. Why? I'm here. Why not? Another success. Another two damage. Gotcha! Now he's down to only five health plus another three secretly that... Don't, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so that's that was pretty cool. I, I just shot him twice. Like in the face. Oh, that's the wrong... I was holding my cards uh, backwards. <laughs> this is not Hanabi. So I still have a lot of cards. I don't know that I want to use them. Um, I mean, I've got to use, uh, boy, this is tough. The problem is <laughs> I am asleep right now and he is within range of me and he's definitely going to try to kill me and he's really powered up. I do have a guard card. Hmm. I'm just going to... Focus? Ah, I don't know if I want to focus because really, I only have two. Oh, these should be back out. I always forget to put these back out. Let's just try to focus once. I just don't want that getting into the red. That one's on a on its side, so I'm re-rolling it. Um, okay, <laughs> I'll spend two cards. You all saw it was on it. Everybody knows it was on its side. Everybody saw that it was not. It was impossible to determine the real result of that die. Everybody saw that. I'm gonna spend. <clears throat> I'm gonna spend these. These two. To convert that to a success, to uh, put a horror down by one. Um, I see Fodder841, is that your name? Uh, Asks, does every scenario have its own special mechanic? Uh, with the exception of just the first, the kind of the most basic one, which is uh, Camp Happy Trails and um, Hans the Butcher. They don't have special rules, I mean, the layout is different of the campsite, and he has his own cards. So in that regard, they are unique, and they do add something variable to the game. But in terms of the really weird special rules, ev other, other than those two, yes, every single location and enemy has some kind of its special unique rule that you can use. So there's a lot of different stuff going on. And you're about to see one of them right now. I want to double-check the boiler room rules... When can I do it during my turn? As many as I want. But I have to do one during the terror phase. So. Oh, God. Oh, but he's not in my space? Oh, doesn't matter. I mean, he could kill me. He could kill me. <laughs> Here's how this works. Uh, I guess I shouldn't try to wake up yet. I guess I shouldn't try to wake up. Here's, I'll explain how this works. Uh, that, that's the wrong deck. As I said, there are um, four boiler room cards. Each card is divided into four quadrants. 
And in each one of those cards, Dr. Fright appears in one of the four quadrants. So bottom left, left, bottom right, etc. And each card is different. So there's one card where he's here, one here, one here, and one here. And when I reveal one of these, I reveal just one half of the card. And I get to choose to reveal the left or right half or the top or bottom half. And if his face appears, he attacks me. And it doesn't matter if he's in my spot or not because it's a dream and he's magic. Um, and he currently does three damage in a swing and I only have four health. <laughs> Now, I have to do one of these per turn as long as I'm asleep. But uh, I could choose to do more if I want to wake up faster. I'm going to do one right now as part of my turn and see how it goes. So the chat can help me decide maybe which direction you think I should go in. I'll start. I'm going to do the top half for the first one and we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how what happens. So I only reveal it so that I can see the top half of the next card. So it's going to be like this. We're going to see. i got to be careful here. And there he is. <laughs> there he is in the corner there. So that means he got me, and I take three damage. <laughs> Stream's about to end, everybody. <laughs> Um, um, oh, I could guard. I guess I might, I should. Yeah, I'll attempt to guard. I get to make a roll. One success, I get to reduce the damage by two. So, hey, there you go. It's still an instant death if he hits me again. <laughs> but at least it's something. Nancy doesn't have a lot of health, you know? Um, all right. Oh, God. He's going to kill me. Hmm. This is very unfortunate. I don't see how I could possibly win. <laughs> I think I have to wake up. If I stay where I have a walk card... But then I'm trapped in a house. I don't think that's going to help me. Well, I no, I can't. Can I rest while I'm asleep? Can I use a rest card while I'm asleep? Doesn't say I can't. That's just like REM sleep or something. Um, so that is, but even then, I'm probably going to die. I think I have to try to escape this nightmare or he's just going to come swinging at me within one or two turns and kill me anyway. So let's just go all in. Let's just go all in and we're either going to escape this nightmare or die right now. And you will get to see this mechanic in, in depth. So... We now know that we found the one card with him in the top left. There's only one of those. There is another card where he's in the top right. But this does mean that it's less likely for him to show up at the top again. But that doesn't... It's, it's also... There is a 100% chance that one of those cards, he's at the top. It could be the next one. I could also try to go for the left. I'll take a I'll take the first suggestion from from the chat. Which half of the next card should I reveal? Top, bottom, left or right? There's three cards. There's a so I, I will let you do the math. All right, Dora Kiryu came in with a left. <laughs> it's your fault if I die. Here we go. I got to do this carefully. Because you don't want to reveal anything you're not supposed to reveal. 
<laughs> there he is. There's his little head right over there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we found him. Now, if I survive this, I would be able to go left two more times, and I know I'm safe because he, he doesn't show up in the left anymore. But this is three damage, so there's two health gone. And just like last time, there is a chance that maybe there's more life on this token. But there isn't. Once again, I was unlucky. Which means Nancy has fallen victim to Dr. Fright. And you can see, there's the rest of the boiler room. Uh, there's all the boiler room cards if you're curious to see him poking his sneaky little head out at all the places, saying hi. Uh, all right, well, we had uh, two big swings and two big misses tonight. 0 for 2 on final girl victories. Uh, so you can see this does not let up on the challenge in any way compared to a hostage negotiator. At least I got a couple of good hits in on Dr. Fright, however. Of course I've won this game off camera, but... You know, the camera adds 10 pounds, it also adds failure. <laughs> well, it emphasizes the failure that exists. But anyway, you got to see how it works. You got to see some of the cool stuff. And you can imagine with all the different scenarios that currently exist, there's lots of different mixing and matching you can do. And I mean, there's so many items you can find. I didn't even dig through most of those cards. The events are all different. They're going to change everything that's going on. Um, oh, look, the small leads are in there, too. Uh, there's all kinds of weird stuff that could happen. Uh, and he also didn't get to see, if you run out of the terror card deck, you reveal his finale card, and they have different evil finale cards. So let's see, his would have been Face Your Fright, uh, which, if I was awake, I'd fall asleep. And for the remainder of the game, I'm a, oh, I'm asleep. So if you take too long, and this card happens to be... Uh, there if you've chosen it randomly then for the rest of the game you're in the boiler room <laughs> that's a pretty good that's a pretty cool final card i like that uh so yeah you can see all the different cool stuff that happens and it also makes him stronger and scarier as well so that's final girl hope everybody had fun uh watching it it's a it's a pretty fun game to play if you like these kinds of solo games the kickstarter for the next series which you can get this stuff as well as plenty of other goodies is up for a couple of weeks still. Uh, I'm certain that I'm going to end up sinking a boatload of money into it. <laughs> uh, but go ahead and see what you think. Maybe you just want to try for a couple of these. Dr. Fright's a pretty fun one. Uh, otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you, everybody, who joined us in the chat tonight. I'm glad you were here to support my, my struggles. Uh, and hopefully you're all having a good week, and you have a good weekend to come. It's Thirsty Thursday, everybody. Go get drunk or something. I don't know. If you're of legal age and responsible, don't drive. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jonathan, and this has been Roll for Crit. Good night. Good night and goodbye.